great talk. Um, so hi everyone, my name is PY. I'm an Android engineer on the developer platforms team. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Um, and so um, every month I organize, I help organize actually, help in Town Square. Uh, and I do that with Jesse Pierce and Monica Volk. My main contribution is uh, these little icons that you see. Uh, that's, that's all I do, I just make these things. Um, so, so we organize that every month. And this is, well, and hopefully we don't break stuff every month. But this is what it looks like, right? Uh, people drinking and uh, watching interesting talks. So this is actually the 20th inch town square. Uh, so that's pretty great. Uh, and it's amazing to see we have about 150 people here tonight, and that's been pretty consistent. So it's pretty exciting. Uh, we have about five talks each time, so that's about 100 talks. And so every time, we do um, dry runs and we give feedback to the speakers before Inch Town Square. Uh, and so we've done that over and over and over again and we built experience. And today I want to talk about um, that, that feedback that we gave and what we learned and basically talk about how, how to give a successful tech talk. So what is a successful tech talk? Uh, in other words, what is the jobs to be done of a tech talk? Uh, so, ooh. <laughs> Okay, that one didn't fly, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, is it to make you feel good, have a good time, drink some beer? Well, not really, because otherwise we wouldn't do the talk, so we'd just do the beer, right? Um, is it to make the speakers feel like a rock star uh, and grow their ego and uh, be promoted? Uh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> well, Yes, but not just that. Um, so it's actually about learning, passing knowledge. Um, the idea is that when you walk away tonight, uh, you are maybe slightly inebriated, but you also learn something, at least more than one thing, and you're gonna remember that, and that's the goal. So how do we learn? There are, just, there are basically just two ingredients to learning, and that's cheese and bread. Uh, because these are the two only ingredients for everything in life, so there's no need for anything else. Just kidding. That's kind of a weird joke, but uh, you know, in <laughs> French, so pardon my French. Um, so really, really, there's like there's one thing that's super important when you're giving a talk, and that's pretty much the only thing that matters. Because you're engineers, you can figure out the technical part. Um, the the part that is key is attention. Um, if you're not paying attention to someone or to something, you're just not going to remember anything about what happened. So when you're a speaker, your goal is to catch people's attention and keep it for 10 minutes. And it's actually pretty hard. Um, so that's the first ingredient, uh, catching the attention. And the second one is repeating things over and over. Um, it turns out you've been through school, you remember that you had to learn these things again and again and again. If I teach you something, you're gonna remember it maybe for like a hot minute, and then, but if I don't repeat it, you're probably gonna forget it soon enough. Uh, so that's how we work as humans. Um, so we're gonna focus, I'm not gonna try to repeat too many times tonight, but we're gonna focus on, um, on like attention. A few practical tips. So who here is really, really good at doing two things at the same time? Like, aside from Monica, she's really great at that, and Ella as well. Um, like cooking and programming at the same time. Yeah, I, I think that's kind of hard. Um, really, we know that, we know we're bad at that. And then we make slides, and they look like this. And basically, as I'm speaking, you're gonna start reading the slide and you don't pay attention to what I'm doing and what I'm saying. It's really hard to pay attention to the slide and myself. So what can we do about that? Well, it's pretty simple. The first thing you can do is replace all of the text with um, like uh, notes, a summary of the text, right? Like a few words instead of so many words. Then when you have less words, you have more space. When you have more space, you use the space, you make things bigger. Maybe you don't need the bullet points, you remove the bullet points. Maybe you don't need to show everything at once, you can introduce it one by one. Notice the, tr the, the fact that I use transparency for the first item, so to kind of like uh, make it fade away, so that we can focus on the important thing but still have context for what just happened. We can do even better. For example, if I show you a tiger like this, it's not really exciting, but if I show you a tiger, now that's exciting, you're gonna pay more attention to it. So you can use pictures instead of text when appropriate, and that might help 
uh, with, because it's just easier. You see a ringtone, you, you understand ringtone. If I say, you know, pay attention, blah, 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 it's just, it's easier. Your words are hard. Um, they are. Um, so let's go back to our slide. So why did this happen? What happened is that you were making a tech talk, you were making slides, and you dumped your ideas in Keynote. And that's OK. You can do something else, like doing it on paper, uh, doing a mind map. Or you do, in you do it in Keynote, but then you're not done yet. You iterate, and you start replacing things. You just have to remember that when it looks like this, it's not ready yet. So we're here. We talked about pictures. So when I see this, though, do I know what I want to talk about? I might not remember. And that's why we have speaker notes. Speaker notes are great. You, I can see my speaker notes right here. They don't say that specifically. They say something else. Right? It's kind of meta, but um, <laughs> anyways. Now, when you have something really, really important to say, you pause. And then you can show a blank slide. That way, everybody's looking back at you when they stop looking at the slides. That's, that's what I'm, the really important thing that I was trying to say is, you know, well. <laughs> anyway, if you're, if, you're, if you're going for the opposite, if you're trying to lose your audience attention, you should play a GIF with text on top as something like vision trumps all other senses, movement makes this worst. Right now you're having a hard time focusing on what I am saying because this guy is dancing over there. Um, does that mean you should not use GIFs? Absolutely not. GIFs, they're surprising and, and they're funny. And we love funny because it engages the audience and you're like paying more attention and we love paying attention. However, there's, there's a quick tr um, you know, trick. You should use GIFs, but yeah, don't put text on top of GIFs. And then if you're playing GIFs, play them once or twice, but just wait for the end and then say the important thing. So this was about tech talks and we haven't really talked about anything technical yet. So let's talk about code for a little bit. What happens when you see this? Uh, it's great, it's code. It's gray. You have no idea what's going on on that screen, right? So the first thing you can do is add syntax highlighting. Um, if you copy paste from IntelliJ, you get that color immediately. Um, it's still hard to focus. You need to have less content, bigger, right? So less content, bigger. Uh, and then what you can do is duplicate your slides and gray out the areas that don't matter, so that you can iterate through things and take people uh, orally through these different things. So that's the easiest and, and simple way to to put code on the screen. But there is a way to make it cooler. But before that, we need to talk about animations. Animations are great. You can use them to draw attention to something important. For example, cheese. Um, and animations are typically hard to do uh, unless you use something really cool called uh, magic move. And magic move is magic. So the way you do things is you duplicate your slides, and you move things around like from one slide to another. And then you tell Keynote, figure it out. And with a magic move, it's just going to move the thing. So for example, I'm duplicating this uh, slide with the cheese. I move the cheese to the other side. It moves with me. I can add bread and make the cheese smaller. That's not a great idea. You want a big cheese, not a small cheese. But <laughs> it works. Um, let's go back to code. You can apply that same technique to code. Uh, so here, for example, you're going to see uh, the text uh, go bigger, and then or like open up, and then close. I'm going to do it very slowly. Uh, you can see it's pretty great. Like, that's exciting. So this is the, I love this animation. Uh, Jake Warden taught me this. Uh, he, he, he's, it's like really, really advanced, but it's actually not that hard to do. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, so the key thing is to tell, uh, to tell Keynote uh, what the different elements that are on the screen. And the problem with brackets is that they're all identical, so it doesn't know what bracket is what. So we add letters ne next to the brackets, and then we make them trans transparent, so they're not visible. But Keynote knows, oh, that bracket is here, and that bracket is there. And then when we move things around, it knows how to, how to interpolate. So here I am duplicating the slide. I go back to the first slide, and I remove the content. And now, it's just that, and I can press uh, play. And hopefully, it's going to play nicely. And we can see that it is, well, that it doesn't, it, yes. It's going to be better in a second. But it does, yeah. See? It's doing it. Right, so Magic Move is great. You should try it if you're using Keynote. That's the main reason why I use Keynote instead of anything else. It's just because it's, I'm very lazy, and that's super easy. Um, so what did we learn today? Um, we learned that to teach, we need to keep the audience engaged. That's very important. And that people can't focus on two things at the same time. So you should, you should use your slide 
to help them keep focused on the important things instead of distracting them and looking elsewhere. Um, and so with that, I hope that you all use some of these uh, tips and start giving tech talks and become rock stars and also, of course, get promoted. Thank you. <laughs>